welcome my beautiful star seeds light workers light barriers soul family and friends and so welcome so before we get started with the reading i always do a mini meditation so of course i'm going to invoke my higher self innate um, the universe the holy spirit uh, of course mother gaia to be here my archangels angels fairies and last but not least my ancestors so I will do a little clearing here. All you need to do is take a deep breath in and release. And I will do a clearing for you. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And now I'm going to take two seconds here to, for all of you to feel my love towards all of you out there. I'm sending you love, light, and also, of course, my mother as well, uh, sending you healing and blessings to all of you. Remember that she will keep praying for you three times a day and on the collective as well. If there's any messages that you want to leave my mom, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below because I will read them to her uh, as, she, as at any time and chance that I have. So again, uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank you for, you know, for this beautiful spiritual journey that we've been going through together. I'm so all like so grateful for all of you here. Yes, sometimes I get tongue tied. I'm sorry, but um, you're gonna feel my heart to you. How much I love you all, and I thank all of you for being here. And let's get started with your readings. I'll be right back. Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from September 6th to the 12th of 2021. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so glad that I'm doing your reading tonight and I can't wait to do your reading and I can't wait to receive all your beautiful messages. And now let's get started with your reading. We'll start first with the affirmation card. Okay, let's see what the affirmation card is for you. For this week okay first card out is service and this shows up for you often huh my beautiful pisces it says i feel good when i can help others i feel good when i can help others i feel good when i can help others so being a service next we're gonna do is your animal totem and what Archangel is with you this week? And what is the message that they're re relaying to you? There we go. That was quick. Put this here. You got two cards. So we're going to take a look at them. First one you got is the snake totem. Snake totem. And this is the elemental kingdom. It says, live according to your divine essence. Live according to your divine essence. So you've got the snake. The next one you got is giraffe. Beautiful. And this is Archangel Jophiel. And it says, aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. So aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. So you've got the snake and the giraffe animal totems this week. Now we're going to look at your challenge. What is your challenge for this week, Pisces? What is it that you need to surrender to? There we 
go. Card came out. And surrender to your full power. Pisces got the lion this year. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So your life is calling for you to step into your full, full power rather than playing it small. Okay, beautiful. And now we're going to take out the angel numbers to see what are the angel numbers that will be with you this week and what are their meanings. And when you do see these numbers, this will be a confirmation of your reading. Okay. Wow. First one is I am limitless. I am limitless. I am limitless. You got the number zero, the sacred number. And Pisces, uh, your angels are saying there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your uh, spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. So the number zero. The next one you got is a master number and is number 33. I'm expanding. I am expanding. I am expanding. And Pisces, your angels are saying any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. That's beautiful. And the next card you got is number 88 is I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. And Pisces says you are on the top. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement all of which brings financial and material abundance into your life. So if you see number like eight, you know, th like zero or three, three, the eight, that's your combination. But you all you could also do the eight, three, eight, three combination. You could do like zero, three, three, or three, three, zero, or it could be three, three, eight, eight, or eight, eight, three, three. You know, these are all different combinations. Okay, so those are your angel numbers, and now we're gonna get into your reading. Your reading. This is for Pisces Sun. And anywhere that you have Pisces in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. Remember, it's a general read, or so it may or may not resonate with all of you. So if it does resonate, you could claim it. But if it doesn't and it feels confusing, then this is then that means that you're not in your sun sign this week. Uh, and look at your rising. Your moon is about emotions. Venus is about love and finances. And of course, your north node, north node is about your soul path or your purpose. In the reading... I will give you, I will show you your uh, your past, your the current energy, your immediate future. I will also show you what is hidden from you and the possible outcome. And then I will clarify the cards in which spirit wants me to clarify. And then after that, we're going to go into the bonus round of which signs show up in your reading, Pisces. And after that, we're also going to do some more or oracle cards and um, the sacred geometry as well and the crystals. So please stay tuned, okay? And let's get started for Pisces. Pisces. In your current energy. So now I'm pulling out the cards for the current energy. future what's hidden from you and a possible outcome okay in the overall energy you got the three of Pentacles this suggests that uh, there's a strong foundation and situation here in the overall this is about cooperation, everybody cooperating. This could be in a family home, in a, in a relationship, in a business, in a workplace. 
uh, but there's a strong foundation here. In the in the past, in the recent past till now, uh, what I see here, you got the King of Cups reversed, the Three of Cups upright, and the Three of Wands uh, upright. So you got number 33. Uh, and this shows to me that uh, in the past here, there was interference, people, places, or situations that took place in a situation. Maybe there was something in the, that took place in the past that was a lot of interference. There could also have been a third party situation or just interference or a lot of gossip and drama in a situation. And I do see someone here not emotionally available. Now, this could be you, Pisces, or someone else. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or, or a uh, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be that sign. But there's definitely someone here not being able to show up, okay, and being able to express themselves. Someone here. Uh, is going through a lot of emotional difficulties, is very moody at this time, and not emotionally available. But with the Three of Wands energy, you went, you you got past this, whatever the situation is, and this is about manifesting and your dreams coming true here, okay? You're looking into the future, you move past this situation, and you're waiting for your ships to come in, whatever it is that you've been manifesting out there. In the current energy, you got the Three of Swords reversed, the Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, okay? Yes, uh, there's been a lot of healing, okay, maybe of a, some type of sorrow or heartbreak. Uh, there has been a lot of worry, okay, there's been a lot of worry, like, at, late at night, not being able to sleep. Uh, but with the Ace of Cups energy coming in, there is abundance here for you. So there is abundance in any shape, way, or form. In the immediate future, you've got the Hangman reversed, the Seven of wand, uh, Pentacles, and the King of Wands. You are... Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening at this time, okay? So you're going to be aware of everything. You're going to wake up one day and you can see everything in what you needed to see, whatever it is. And um, with the King of Wands energy, now this could be towards a person for some of you, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy that you're contemplating in a situation here with this King of Wands. Or this is you, an energy that at this time you're reevaluating everything in the current and the immediate future. And you're seeing how far you've come and how much you accomplished at this time. And with the King of Wands energy, you're determined to go forward, okay? You're determined to go forward and pursue your dreams, your goals. And what's hidden from you is the Five of Pentacles. So some of you are still feeling is, this is about you. Now, remember that, I uh, just wanna put it out there, that um, you could swap the energies if it, this is not about you or someone else, okay? If this is not about you. With the Five of Pentacles, it shows me here that someone here is still feeling left out, abandoned, uh, feeling like they're not going to have enough, uh, you know, then there is help, but this individual here or individuals do not want the help. They want to do the things by themselves. All right. And in the possible future, you've got the page of swords. So there's a new beginning taking place here in communication, in the way that you think, in uh, maybe in creative ideas. There could be a, a new, um, there could also be someone here that you're communicating um, on social media. But definitely there is a some sort of communication that's taking place here. So now we're going to clarify the cards. Okay, so let's clarify the cards here for you. Got the cards in three. Okay, so let's look at the Three of Pentacles. You do have 333 three, three on the ground. That's amazing. A lot of threes here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Actually, not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four threes on the ground. Wow. Okay, so there is going to be... A, there, that's, that's also a catalyst number. Change is coming. So let's see if the Three of Pentacles here. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? You've got the Magician... The Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Okay, beautiful. This could be about business for some of you. Okay, if you have it, uh, or a workplace or business where uh, you could be growing here, um, making up new 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 rules, new uh, you know new rules, uh, uh, new boundaries, setting up everything for your business here, and uh, there's a lot of cooperation around you. There, for others of you, this could talk about a commitment in a relationship as well. 
maybe there's an Aries energy around you. Uh, but what they're showing me here is it's very good news is that you have the magician, the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely here you've been manifesting this and the Ten of Cups talks about a new beginning taking place in love. OK, uh, there is a soulmate energy. And if you're single and you're not seeing anyone, well, the Ten of Cups could, uh, you know, it could also refer to uh, your family, your kids, your friends, uh, your community. OK, there's a sense of newness of something from the heart here and with the ace of pentacles here it there's a, there's a gift or money coming in but it could also mean uh the, how the stability that's coming in it's a new beginning taking place for some of you like a new life that's taking place here and there is a commitment for some of you this is if this is about a relationship i see a strong foundation i could also see marriage in the near future now let's look at uh the past here okay so you have the king of cups reversed why is this king of cups reversed in the past you got the seven, the eight of pentacles. So you got seven, eight. Okay, the king of cups reversed. Okay. Why is the king of cups reversed? Got the king cups reversed. The ten of wands. Let's see. Oh, I'm using the wrong cards. Uh, no, it's not the wrong cards, but anyways. <laughs> That's what happens with me. Okay, I'll take these cards for a second, but why is the King of Cups up reversed here? Okay, Nine of Swords reversed. Two Swords reversed. Facts like that. Okay, I wanted to know something here. All right, this King of Cups reversed had gone through something very difficult here. There was a uh, a decision that was rendered okay um because uh I love, with the nine of swords reversed the five of swords upright and the two of swords reversed definitely there was a lot of lies in the situation or deceit and there was maybe someone that backstabbed you or could this could be vice versa energy okay with this king of cups energy now when i took out these cards here i do see someone here that had to go through many obstacles okay there was a lot of obstacles someone that was tired uh, with the king of cups reversed uh and the 10 becomes the one so something got released from them um they've been working hard they've been working hard on something on themselves probably on a project but something to perfect maybe this is you pisces trying to perfect yourselves right uh but a lot of you uh, you know there was something that got revealed to you from a path from you know maybe some type of interference people or places energy here and uh someone here not trusting their intuition and not taking that leap of faith forward in a situation. Now, I'm going to take a card out for the Three of Cups. You got the Sun reversed. You got the Nine of Pentacles. And why the Three of Wands, please? Show me about the Three of Wands. three ones the four swords again the seven I got seven 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 on the ground okay And the king of wands reversed all right so with this three of cups energy i asked what and there was they showed me that there was a lot of disappointment in the past maybe with your friends and maybe with interference people or places or situation here okay uh so uh with the nine of pentacles i feel here that um you know uh that someone here is definitely working on themselves and uh, also on their finances i feel that there's been like an upgrade in finances as well for some of you and someone here that is really independent and when i asked for the three of wands energy i got the four of swords and the seven of pentacles yes so someone here uh in the past had to take time out to heal so there was some type of time out here and someone was reevaluating everything because they were at crossroads but they with the three of wands it shows me that someone here uh passed all this energy and you know uh, moved past it with the three of wands and also shows that manifestation whatever that you've been dreaming about is coming in now let's look at the current energy. You got the Three of Swords reversed. So why is the Three of Swords reversed? 
you got the king of swords the knight of cups reversed the queen of wands upright with the knight of pentacles reversed why is the nine of swords here got the two of wands reversed and the fool let's look at the ace of cups the eight of pentacles so you do have number 88 the nine of wands reversed and the two of pentacles reversed so let's take a look at this when i asked about in the current energy with the three of swords reversed there was a beautiful healing that took place here of releasing sorrow grief um and what it shows me here is definitely someone um now if this is you or whoever you're dealing with someone here rose rose above all this the, the situation the queen of wands i always refer her to um definitely i, I refer her to um the phoenix rising from the ashes okay because um this is someone that uh, you know had to go through many uh, death and rebirth okay someone this is someone that reinvented themselves completely from head to toe uh, maybe even did a huge makeover like inside and outside uh, someone that's outgoing optimistic okay that's out there um, and uh, I do see also with the king of wands reversed your energy okay um, someone here had to humble themselves okay De definitely in energy but with the king of swords upright shows me that there's new solutions that whatever solutions there is going to be new solutions but whatever issues any issues that arise solutions will be quickly taken care of here this is someone that has a lot of wisdom is very focused okay is able to communicate a lot of creativity a lot of communication here taking place maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius Libra or Gemini maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries energy okay but um with the knight of pentacles reversed and the knight of cups reversed if this is you or someone else uh, i don't see someone here coming in right now or not being able to make plans not able still to give the love that they want to or share okay your emotions at this time because they're just coming out of a heartbreak of healing or this is someone else around you taurus virgo or capricorn also is here cancer scorpio pisces when i asked about the nine of swords energy they showed me that here there was a lot of like um, i feel that someone here was very worried um and um someone here that is 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 trying to let go of fear to move forward okay in because someone here wants to dream wants to travel wants to conquer the world in their own way whatever this is and there is a new beginning okay so there's a portal opening so this is about releasing that or that because there's a lot of determination to do this okay to move forward then when i asked about the ace of cups energy and the current energy they gave me the eight of pentacles the nine of wands reverse and the two of pentacles reverse definitely someone here has been working on themselves or working on a specific project late hours at night okay and they're not being pulled into different directions here they're letting things take happen they surrender to it with the ace of cups okay so this is abundance in any shape way or form very beautiful energy now if we ask about the immediate future here so let's look at the immediate future you got the hang the hangman reversed the seven of pentacles and the king of wands upright so let's look at the hangman why is the hangman here You got the page of pentacles the king of cups upright in the immediate future and the queen of swords so i got the king and ki the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of wands and I got the King of Cups twice, one upright and one reversed. So now let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. You've got the Ace of Wands reversed with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords. 
judgment. Let's look at the King of Wands. You got the tower reversed. You got Temperance and the Six of Pentacles. In the immediate future, there's a spiritual awakening. Someone here surrendered to something that was stagnant or they were in a lupin. Okay, and this is about seeing clarity in everything. Okay, just having clarity. And what I see here is that there is a new offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles. This could be money, a job, or just an offer. Uh, a beginning stage of some type of offer coming in. Could be also friendship. Could also be an, like any type of offer in, in a situation here. With the King of Cups energy, uh, I do see someone here that's emotionally available. Okay, is able to express their love. Is able to talk about someone here that is emotionally available and is here. Okay, they did a lot of work. And with the Queen of Swords energy, this could be you or someone else. There's a lot of court cards here, uh, unless you're dealing with a lot of people, Pisces, but uh, this could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or this is you, okay? You could be this King of Cups energy, and you could be this Queen of Swords energy, where, you know, you're very discerned, you're very logical uh, about certain things, okay? And you don't take any uh, BS from anybody here and able to cut people if you have to. Uh, and at the same time, you could be this King of Cups energy, very loving energy, giving a lot of nurturing and love and being able to express yourself. Okay, now when I was asked about the Seven of Pentacles, uh, it showed me here the Ace of Wands reversed, followed by the Seven of Swords, followed by the Six of Swords, followed by Judgment. So there is a judgment that has to take place here. A lot of you are not talking about it to anybody. You're keeping things to yourself or there could be a... a just things about your life or your money or just in general okay um some of you are trying to find a passion here in something that you really love you're really contemplating contemplating uh, what's your next step okay because you're trying to find that passion within you in the situation here and i do see someone here um that is gonna go is going through a process in the next six days six weeks or six months from now um, and uh, but there is some type of judgment that's coming in here for you or you need to judge a situation and I also see uh, someone here might be relocating or moving now it, when I asked about the king of cups energy they gave me the king of wands the tower reverse temperance and the six of pentacles some of you may could be also dealing with a Sagittarius if that's not the case here um, you're an earth angel Pisces and you know this, okay? You always try to help other people out there. Uh, you give a lot of yourselves to a lot of people and sometimes you don't find time for yourself um, most of the time because you're trying always to be there for everybody else and make everybody else happy. But you are an earth angel here and you've been cultivating a lot of patience in a situation and you've been moderating your life here okay and uh, with the six of pentacles there's definitely something here that's coming into balance in your life where whatever that you're giving you're going to be receiving that's nice to see that now we're going to look at the five of pentacles and what is hidden from you okay from the five of pentacles i got scorpio energy I got the uh, Virgo energy, the Five of Wands reversed, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so definitely here, if you're dealing with someone that's a Scorpio or a Virgo, I'm just going to put it out there. It doesn't have to be. I find that someone here is uh, definitely someone here is coming out of a time where they've been, um, you know, taking time off from the world. Someone here that's coming out of the dark night of the soul where they've been feeling left out, abandoned. Okay, where there was a lot of competition or ego or drama in a situation is being released here but there's still some resistance someone here is still not going with the flow scorpio energy uh it's about uh, going through a transformation and there's a lot of fears in this but with the page of wands energy uh they're showing me that with the page of wands you got the page of wands you got the page of pentacles you got the page of swords the pages are all about new beginnings taking place in your life okay so uh this is a, a for some of you this is like uh finding passion with it, with something here okay uh, you've been seeing the signs you've been feeling it and uh and it's about positive news so there's some type of positive news that's coming in here for you now let's look at the page of swords in the possible outcome why is the page of swords here
We've got the star reversed, Aquarian energy, the Ace of Cups reversed, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you are worried about somebody and someone that you've been thinking about, I feel, uh, or they've been thinking about you, but this is a very spiritual connection. I don't know. I don't know what I'm picking up here, but this is what is being told to me, okay? Um, so I'm going to... So let's say uh, for some of you that haven't been talking, like maybe some of you out there are not talking to someone that you had a very spiritual connection to, uh, where you've been thinking about and you've been having a lot of spiritual, you know, visions or dreams about them. What they're being shown to me is that because I feel that this person that you know has Virgo in their chart, definitely have Virgo and Scorpio in their chart and Aquarius, because I've been seeing these signs often in your reading. With every situation here, okay, someone here is definitely has had lost faith or hope in the situation here, if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Someone here is really with the Ace of Cups, or someone here is really going within, okay? They're going within themselves. They're trying to figure out what self-love, what unconditional love is. They're, you know, they're going through the process of their spiritual awakening, or maybe they're ascending at this time. So they are going through it. And um, there's going to be something that's going to come up, like a new creative idea or some type of new way of, uh, of uh, in the way they perceive things that will change something is changing here for someone and again you got the three of pentacles and the three of wands again how many fours uh, threes do you have on the ground you have seven seven four i think you had like six or six six threes on the ground that's a lot okay a lot master energy here three of pentacles strong foundation Okay, so do not worry. There is a strong foundation here. There can be a it could be about a relationship or marriage for some of you, or a workplace. And it's about moving forward in positivity. This is about manifesting, and it's coming in here for you. And there will be an unexpected message coming in. Yes, there is going to be an unexpected message. And underneath the deck, I have the page of cups. <laughs> so I have the four pages for you. There's a new emotional experience that's going to be taking place here. Okay, so you've got the new emotional experience, a new passion coming within with positive news. The Page of Pentacles talks about new beginnings in some type of stability and the Page of uh, Swords, right, with new communication. So that this is your reading, uh, Pisces. And now we're going to look at what signs came out in your reading. Okay, so let's look at the signs because we're going to do the bonus round. you got Aquarius. You got Aries. You got Scorpio. You got Virgo. Sagittarius. Okay, so you got five signs that showed up in your reading, five, okay, and we're going to take a look at them now. Now, if there's someone out there that could do a timestamp, you know, that would be awesome if you can, from the beginning with the singing bowl, uh, with uh, the, you know, with the every aspect that I do. And if someone could do it, that would be amazing. If you can't do it, that's fine too, no worries. Okay, let's see what's going on from here. So this is a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul. This could be anybody in your life. It doesn't have to be just about your boyfriend or girlfriend, a husband and wife or soulmate. This could be about a person that you haven't spoken to for a while. This could be someone that crossed over as well for some of you. Okay, so this is about heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul. So, Pisces, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, sorry, if you're dealing with a uh, Aquarius, oops, Pisces, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, let's see what their message is. Heart to heart, soul to soul. I won't let you go. I don't want to miss my, my chance with you. I just need more time. 
if you're dealing a, a Pisces with a, an Aries, there's a lot of repressing emo, uh, energies right now with this individual. Uh, they're saying also that your eye contact is insane when you look at each other. Wait for me. I am overthinking everything. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, I changed, you changed my whole direction. They're excited and they say also that you deserve more. One more card from them. I am working on myself. If you're dealing with a Virgo, oh boy, uh, you are hard to forget. Let's see what else there is here. Where's the card? Sorry about that. And they're saying also, at this time they're feeling cold and distant. You're feeling nostalgic. You're indecisive. And uh, I miss you more than you know. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're feeling distant at this time. They're doubting. They're saying that they're making plans and I've been have been having weird dreams about us. And suddenly all the songs I hear are about you. Okay, so these are the all signs, the bonus round. And now we're gonna look into your crystals. So let's look into your crystal Pisces. See what kind of crystals you will need for this week. Okay, let's look at the crystals together. You've got a couple of them here. First one you have here is the solar plexus, third chakra. And it's the color yellow. Okay, this is the stone colors are yellow or green in location the stomach. Physically, it governs the digestive system, the colon, the stomach, the liver, the spleen, the pancreas, and the small intestine. Emotionally, it governs self-esteem, ego, personal power, confidence, willpower, and manifestation. And the symptoms are, some of you are going to be feeling tired, withdrawn, powerless, depression, low self-esteem, hyperactivity, and digestive issues. Okay, so at this time, some of you, your solar plexus is being activated. And now we're going to look at the crystals here. So the first crystal you got is pyrite. Pyrite, all right? And this appearance, the appearance of this uh, this crystal, it's opaque and shiny golden yellow. Okay, so the healing properties, okay, it shields from negative energies and it aids in revealing confronting issues. It promotes new ideas, possibility, and change. Expresses sec Exposes secrets and hidden aspects. Inspires self-confidence, vitality, and action, and draws out personal talents and potential. And... Pyrite is associated with the chakra, with the solar plexus, the third eye as well. And so it increases energy, stamina, and activity. It supports confronting dark side of self. It stimulates mental activity and aids in overcoming fatigue. Okay, so you got the pyrite energy uh, crystal. The next one you got is zoisite. Zoisite. And the appearance is opaque in yellow, brown, blue, green, and often with ruby adding red. The healing, it assists recovery from serious, serious illness. It turns destructive urges into constructive ones. It reveals suppressed feelings and emotions. It helps to escape from others' influences and dispels lethargy and blockages. And the chakra associated with this crystal is the third eye, the heart, and the root chakra. 
So this, it connects with true desires and intentions, supports individuality and nonconformity, and it increases fertility and creativity and encourages sexual energy. So zoisite, and the next one you've got is turquoise. All right. Uh, the appearance is opaque, blue, green, blue, or green with darker veins. The healing, it stabilizes mood swings and assists inner calm. It releases old vows and promises. It purifies by dispelling negative energy. It suits and calms during public speaking, enables mental alertness and self-expression, and it promotes self-realization. And this is about all the chakras. So it enhances intuition and meditation. It balances and aligns the chakras. It harmonizes masculine and feminine energies and attunes the physical level to the spiritual level. So the three crystals this week that you will need if you uh, and for as long as you need them is turquoise zoisite and pyrite and underneath the video i do have two websites that you could check out that have a coupon off with my name on it and also 10 percent 10 percent off and if you don't see it on the website all you have to do is write to my soul family and they will help you along the way okay let us support them because this is a family these are family-based businesses so let's look at the sacred geometry for you pisces from September 6th to the 12th. All right. Let's look at this together. You got two cards. So the first one you got is number 28, which equals to a 10 to a new beginning. And you got a frequency. So we're going to look at it together fast, fast, because I got two cards for you. I'm going to show you in a second. So number one, you got number 28. And you got the 639 frequency hertz. And this is a reconne reconnection of relationships to self and others. 639. Okay, so uh, your affirmation for this is, I create harmonious connections with people in my life. I create harmonious connections with the people in my life. If 639 hertz has shown up today, there is an issue with your relationships. Be it impersonal, interpersonal, or with a family member, friend, or business relation this frequency enables creation of harmonious connections to be reinstated to allow for better communication understanding tolerance and love all right um so at some point we go through trials within our relationships on all levels is part of human nature i'm just going to read a little paragraph for you here for growth and expansion to occur we continually need to work on relationships with ourselves and with those around us each experience gives us valuable lessons to take us to the next level of the co connection we may create and leave behind. These experiences become a tool that helps us carry through our lifetime. Okay, so through meditation or when you're in bed or even sitting in a quiet space, focus on the sound, which is fa, right? Fa. The first relationship that you must focus on is the relationship with self. Focus on your intention of what you want to release and create within your relationships. Once the interpersonal connection is fine-tuned, you can expand on working with relationships with a partner, parent, child, friend, or work colleague. As balance starts to be created and restored, restored, don't be surprised if you find people within your life being left behind and new people entering. As your frequencies change, your vibration may not necessarily match that of the people who have been in your life, okay? So work with the color green when using this frequency. And you can also use, uh, the, you know, while you uh, are meditating with this uh, 639, you could use the rose quartz, pink tourmaline. Okay, so rose quartz or pink tourmaline. All right, green energy. So that's beautiful. Green is for the heart chakra as well, right? Okay, and the next card you got is number three, which is a master number. Again, the number threes are strong. And this is the, the love frequency here love frequency okay this is about self-love and soulmate connection and the affirmation is i love you but not towards your to someone else say it to yourself i love you i love you keep repeating those words love frequency is here to remind us that to live an amazing life and accomplish what we have come here to do we first need to accept and love ourselves each of us needs to look into our inner core and to our hearts, see the beauty and love within ourselves so that we can work to our highest potentials in every aspect. Remember, others will treat you the way you treat yourself. To draw on this vibration, we have to find the love comfortably within. 
Love of self is a, such a permanent aspect of everyday life, but many of us actually stop and look in the mirror and see the true beauty of our soul essence. Do you stop and say, I love you to yourself? Do you see the true and pure essence of your spirit and all you are and what you have to offer yourself? Does your heart sing? The biggest gift we can give is to love ourselves unconditionally. This template is not only about love of self, but the love, love of a soulmate. We all have a number of soul partners, whether it be a lover or a friend. When the connection is made, it is annoying that it is felt in the depth of our heart and, a, and soul. A mirror image is found and formed. Use love frequency to work with your heart and soul. So you need to take a screenshot of this. So please take a screenshot and keep it in your pictures and probably put it also as a wallpaper as well because it's going to help as well when you do your meditation. Truly see the love that is within you. It is so much easier to give love to others than it is to ourselves, but it's crucial for our growth on every level. Spend five minutes a day for yourself. Stand in front of a mirror and see the beauty that stands before you. Know how much you are loved. If you're looking for your soulmate or already in a partnership that needs attention, use this template with the intention of working on your relationships on all levels. Grid in the farthest right. Okay, so you i for some of you that did take, take if you did take the picture right there's then all you do is rewind and go back you could also trace this so try to trace this okay and uh grid in the farthest right corner from your front door so from your front door you gr you take the paper that you that you grid the you gridded this template on and you put it on the farthest of the right side Okay, and then you can place an intention, words, crystal, flowers, or anything that you identify as related to love of self or others and state all your intentions clearly. And of course, you could use the rose quartz for this and also pink or watermelon tourmaline, okay, and emerald. So you can use rose quartz, pink or watermelon tourmaline and emerald. So these are your two cards, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed them. And now we're gonna, last but not least, we're gonna take out a card from your star seed family to see what they have to tell you. Okay, your star seed family, see what they have to tell you. What is the message for you? For Pisces, your life is a canvas, Pisces. And the message here is artist, manifestation, creative accountability. Okay, so artists, some of you can be artists. It's about manifesting. Whatever you want, whatever you want to co-create, it's all yours. All you have to do is manifest it. Do a vision board and be creative. Beautiful. So Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, and share it. Know that I have your back and that I love you all. And remember, we are one. We are one. And we are love. Please take care and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.